Welcome to another unboxing by theplayersaid.com. I'm Grant. Today I'm unboxing the Alamo Remembered, which is designed by George Barna, and this is second edition from Victory Point Games. For those that don't know, I think everybody does know the uh, the old slogan, Remember the Alamo, comes from 1836, when Texas was yet to be a part of the United States and were fighting for their independence from Mexico, <clears throat> a group of Texians led by names such as uh, Bowie and Crockett and Travis holed up in the Alamo, which was a Spanish miss mission, and defied Santa Ana and his army. They laid a siege to that, and it ultimately ended in the uh, defeat of the Texians and a massacre, but it led to the uh, the revolt itself actually winning uh, their independence from Mexico. So this game, I've been interested, interested in it for a while. It is a one to two player game. Once again, made by Victory Point Games. It comes in this format. They're what they call the little red box. And this is a sleeve. You can see there it's the second edition. They're on the spine uh, you can see it says war game. So this is a war game. It does use counters and a map, and you're going to fight it out. It's either a one-player game or a two-player game. So I'm interested in trying it solitaire and then playing it as well with my gaming friend, Alexander. So we'll go ahead and, and try to take the sleeve off. Great-looking art. You can see the uh, the defense there by the Texians on the wall as the Mexican soldiers are uh, trying to scale it with ladders. So really nice looking thing. And the game comes in their standard red box. Love that slogan, the little game company that could. I really like Victory Point games. They really put out a lot of great games uh, that are very playable and also very, very cool. So as we open it, <clears throat> you can see the first thing we have here is the rule book. Uh, the rule book is, it weighs in at... Only 12 pages, which is uh, really pretty good. And you can see it is full color. It does have some pictures and examples of play. I'll kind of bring that in up close so you can see that. Always good when games show how the action's supposed to work. Great looking counters, and uh, I'm excited to try this one. So nice looking rule book. There's a summary on the back of the uh, scoring and the victory points, kind of what if you what certain uh, amount of victory points you get, what that declares to in a victory or a type of a victory. And then here you, you kind of have the sequence of play. So really, really kind of cool. There's the rules. They come with some bags for the counters. I think the back of the box said they're about 60, 54, there are 54 double-sized three-quarter inch counters, and there's a mounted map eight and a half by 16 and a half inches. So there we go. Um, obviously, the first thing you can see here is the map, and I believe this this is a deluxe edition. No, it is not a deluxe edition, but this is uh, just an advertisement. I've actually played 100 Days 20 and reviewed it. It's on the blog if you want to check that out. Very fun game, fast playing war game, Napoleonic war game. And I really, I think what I really liked about that game was it didn't have a lot of counters. So it was very, very quick, simple rules. So, but here's the map. It is a card stock map. And you can see it's, it's not huge. Um, there at the top, you can see the title, The Alamo Remembered. It does list the sequence of play. I really enjoy games that do list that because it makes it easy um, to play. You don't have to always dive into the rule book. You can kind of refer to the sequence of play. Pen print it on the game board to keep yourself uh, going. There's the turn track in the middle. And you can see, I'm going to turn it kind of sideways. This is a picture of the footprint of the uh, Alamo itself. So you can see there are numbers on the areas, uh, three, four, and five. I don't exactly know what that means, but we will uh, we'll figure that out when I get into the rules and, and try to understand that. 
You can also see in the very middle, it says last stand. My guess is that's the, the last point uh, where if it goes any further than that, the uh, defenders of the Alamo lose and Santa Ana wins. My guess also with this is that Santa Ana's men uh, win more often than not. But definitely uh, an interesting game and, and I'm looking forward to uh, to trying it out. Okay, there is there is the uh, the upgraded map board. Let me go ahead and get that out of the way. It's kind of like a puzzle. A puzzle, uh, you, you just put it together. Looks like there are four pieces. You know, let me go ahead and, I don't know how well you can really see that. If I turn it this way, you can, you can see that's a pretty nice size board. It's very clear. But this is a very thick, um, almost wooden type, pressed wood uh, type thickness, but it's very nice. Um, really, really done well. And I like the fact that they've upgraded this. I have also uh, seen the upgraded map for Circus Train and for another game that I have, Villainous Vikings, where they've upgraded from the paper copy, which is functional, works out but they've upgraded to the puzzle style mounted map board. It's a really nice looking mounted map board. Here you can see, here's the counter sheet. Really nice looking counters. Uh, you can see there, uh, these are the Texian uh, units. And then down here are the Mexican. Really nice, you can see there's a Marker there for the game turn, what's called Sentries Awake and a Bright Moon. My guess is that makes it easier to shoot uh, for the defenders and for the attackers because you can see things. So we'll flip that over just to give you an idea of what those units look like. You can see there's not a lot of information on the counters. There is a number and then a flag identifying what nationality they are. They're Santa Ana. He is a uh, obviously a leader and has a value of two. And then next to him is the Cazadores. They have a value of two as well. They're probably elite troops. Uh, and then here's some of the uh, other markers. There are some of the heroes for the Texians, Jim Bowie. Um, these are probably events. Don't know exactly what those are, what those are, but really, really kind of cool. There is Davy Crockett. Uh, you can see him uh, there in the center. And the rest are cannon and men that will be used in defending defending the Alamo. So really kind of cool. Uh, not a ton of counters, which is cool. This is a, I think this is a very fast playing game on the back. It says 30 minutes. So that's the play time, 30 minutes. Uh, complexity is uh, very low, a two and it's very, very good for solitaire. That means usually that there's some kind of a blind draw mechanism that you can uh, that you can take care of. So that is the Alamo Remembered. Just got that from Victory Point Games, one that I've been looking forward to. Sorry about uh, the mat, the camera going out of, out of focus there. Really looking forward to get, getting this one to the table, not only solitaire, but also with my friend, and then we'll try to review this over the next month or so. So thank you very much for watching and we'll talk to you later.